What's going on everyone? I don't even know where to start today. We've got, uh, yeah, lo loads of things to tell you. I hope you all enjoyed the Brad Hutchison Racing uh, promo video from Castle Coombe. We've got hopefully load, loads more to come on that. We'll do it here at Donington Park for the next next event and I'll be filming for, for, for them again. So uh, yeah, massive shout out to that team for inviting me and I hope you all like the video and I hope you like what's to come. So, case swap wise, where do we even start? So you might be able to see behind me we pulled the uh, the Civic out a little bit. We're just going to clean the clean the bay, get it washed, get it ready for uh, prepping for paint. We've got a little little thing down there, which I'm not not sure if you're going to be able to see, but we'll look at that shortly. What else have we got over here? Obviously, got our engine, our K20. We've got a power, power steering rack there, a gearbox down there, and then I'll go and show you loads of nice new bits that we've got upstairs. Let's go have a look. So I'm building the Civic at my dad's place. Um, and we're now in my old bedroom, and this is where I'm storing all of my parts. All of my nice new shiny, shiny parts at least, anyway. So we've got our nice uh, DC2 Integra Type R subframe. Obviously got our arms as well. We've got white line DC2 uh, front anti-roll bar. We have EK Civic SIR uh, front grill. We've got the hybrid racing cables that I'm actually going to sell and get some get get the uh, the shorter ones that have just 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 been released we have every single seal for the k20 required in here also got the uh, coolant pipe which i've heard a couple of people have issues with so we've got that to replace as well we have all of the hard race stuff here so we've got bushes inner and outer tie rod stuff like that we've got our acuity uh, shifter base plate acuity four-way shifter K-Swap harness, um, genuine Hasport mounts down here. We have hard race uh, front strut brace, hard race rear strut brace, plus a BC racing banner. Shout out Apex Performance. So yeah, so uh, we're going to get all this stuff on the car eventually. Oh, got to mention Bond it. Shout out Bondit, obviously part of the uh, uh, one of the sponsors for Brad Hutchison Racing. They provided me with some Monster Watch, which are absolutely incredible. Go and pick some of these up. They're really, really good. So yeah, we've got them for the build. Thanks, Kirsty, for supplying those. So yeah, as you can see, plenty of uh, parts, plenty of brand new parts. We've actually got some hard race tube, tubular armors on the way as well. Um, so they'll be here next week. And just to follow on from the shout outs, you may remember in one of my uh, earlier videos, I shouted out a company called Mechanics Giveaways. Well, I finally won a raffle. <laughs> we, uh, I got this two and a half ton, two and a half ton low entry jack, and also the axle stands as well. So these are going to come in very much handy. Um, I couldn't be any more thankful. We get to retire the old ceiling. Um, so yeah, James and Duran of uh, Mechanics Giveaways, thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. And what have we got here? Oh, here. Yeah. So this is a massive shout out to, actually a massive shout out to James, James Handley, who uh, yeah, told me about this place. Let me try and get it on the side. So DB8, DB8 Motorsport, rare uh, parts and wheels, based in Hong Kong, I believe. Massive shout out to them. I gave them a message about some 4x114.3, obviously alloys, 16x7, and I wanted ET40 to ET45. So a real sort of tight uh, range of spec that I wanted. And he said, oh, we've got these. We haven't listed them yet. Advan RG OGs are oh, here. So yeah, so we've uh, obviously all got the original paint, original blue band in here, then obviously the Advan sticker. I'm going to get them uh, refurbished just in the same colour and uh, probably painted rather than powder coated. Um, and then, yeah, obviously get this nice blue strip as well. And uh, Chris, I believe it is, from DB8 Motorsport, actually provided some new ad 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 Advan stickers and also some brand new uh, valves as well. So, yeah, super happy with them. I've been trying to find some 4x114 wheels in this perfect spec for so long now. I'm so glad we managed to get them. So, yeah, shout out Chris at DB8 Motorsport. One thing just to show you on these, uh, on these Advan RGs, they're 5.6 kilograms, I believe. They are so light, it is actually unreal. If I just put it on here, put it on the grass, I'll lift the whole wheel with my little finger. 
Are you seeing that? Are you actually seeing that? That is insane. How can I lift the whole wheel with my finger? A little finger. He. So here's the uh, the Civic. Like I say, we just uh, I just got it, just got just got it pulled outside. I'm gonna get it cleaned. Excuse me, cleaned in here. Just a bit of advice. Anything you don't want getting wet, like any connectors or anything like that, just wrap them up in cling film. Any holes going into the uh, cabin or anything like that, again, get get them taped up. Watch out in here. You've obviously got your um, your hole for obviously your heating and your air your air box and everything like that. Not not no, not your air box. Your cabin filter, sorry. Um, yeah, tape that up. Make sure no water goes in there. And yeah, it's clean in here anyway. But we're just going to uh, just going to get all this sort of grime cleared off and go from there. So, got it all uh, washed now, washed down, looking nice and clean. Do we paint it? I think we need to. We don't need to, but there's a couple of spots, like say here, where it's uh, started to rust through. I'm not sure if that's gonna be in focus or not. There go. This here, a bit of paint that started to rust through, so really we wanna uh, sand that down and get that back anyway. Obviously where we've taken the engine out, it's gone down to primer. Um, yeah, so overall it's a clean, it's a really, really, really clean engine bay. But um, yeah, I think it's going to look even cleaner if it's the same high gloss as this. So gloss all the way across, hopefully it will look better. But just look how clean all this is. Oh, now it's looking orange, let me just turn it. There we go. So yeah, so all of this here, super clean, really nice. This is where a lot of my EJ9s have rusted before. So it's nice to see they're not uh, rusted in there. So yeah, super clean. Really happy with uh, how it's looking. I'm gonna give these a good old clean out. There's a bit of uh, dirt, dirt and grime in here. I'm gonna take all these off and just pressure wash them and get them nice and clean as well and looking brand new. So yeah, we are getting somewhere. I think I'm gonna put it in the garage again now. I'll get my dad to help me put it in the garage. And then what I might do is I might uh, might build up the subframe. Now, now, now I've got the subframe back. I might uh, put, the, put, the, put the rack back on. Although I'm debating painting this silver, repainting this. So I might do that real quick. Get this painted and then uh, get it ready to go onto the subframe. So yeah, so it's looking nice and clean. Uh, I think the next thing to do is probably start to prep it. So we'll get some pads and we'll start uh, start sanding it down. Well, not sanding it, but prep, prep, uh, prep, prepping it. Basically, get it looking similar to something like that. Obviously, that's where the engine has taken the uh, taken the paint off. But from watching uh, quite a lot of videos, I think all I got to do is just start sanding this, and before I know it, it's going to be primer. It's very, very light coat of uh, Milano red. So yeah, we're nice and clean. So yeah, that's probably already going to wrap it up for uh, today's video. I've got way too many videos piled up that I've got to, e got to edit, so i not got a clue where this is going to come. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch, catch you all next time. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon.